Uh, good morning. Welcome to the 21st meeting of 2017 of the Environment, Climate Change and Land Reform Committee. Uh, before we move to the first item on the agenda, I want to remind everyone present to switch off mobile phones and other electronic devices as these may affect the broadcasting system. Um, can I welcome John Scott and Donald Cameron to their first Environment Committee meeting? And I wish to uh, invite both of you to declare any interests you may have that are relevant to the work of the committee. Mr Scott. Uh, thank you very much, uh, convener. Uh, my declaration of interest is part of my register of interest. I am a farmer, uh, I'm a landowner, I'm a fellow of the Royal Agricultural Society, um, an honorary member of the British Veterinary Association and a member of the National Farmers Union and one of the founder of the farmers' market movement in Scotland. Okay. Thank you, Mr Scott. Mr Cameron? Yes, um, I too would like to refer to my register of interest uh, lodged uh, on the 9th of June last year. I'm a landowner. I own Achnacarry Estate, which is a land holding in a Highland uh, local authority area, uh, which supports a commercial forestry and agricultural business, and the full details of which are in my register of interest. Okay, thank you. Uh, can I take this opportunity to thank both Morris Golden and Alexander Burnett for their contribution to the committee uh, over the past year? It was very valued. Agenda item, item two is the choice of deputy convener. Um, the Parliament has agreed that only members of the Scottish Conservative and Unionist Party are eligible for nomination as deputy convener of the committee. Can I invite a member of the, that party to nominate one of their number for the post? John Scott is nominated. Uh, do we agree to choose John Scott as our deputy convener? We are agreed. Uh, congratulations, Mr. Scott. Thank you very much. Um, I now have to close the formal part of the meeting. Um, at its next meeting on the 12th of September, the committee will take evidence from the Water Industry Commission for Scotland. We will now move into private session. I ask that the public gallery be cleared as the public part of the meeting is closed.